Okay, so dating is hard in my eyes um, because of it's uncertain. So when you don't know what's going to happen or you can't really predict um, what the outcome is going to be, it can be very scary. All right, so let's just go over a couple things to help you with the fear of dating. In my last video, if you didn't check it out, it's called Dating with Intention. You, you want to set yourself up in a way that if it doesn't work, you're not totally destroyed. So I don't believe until you're married that you should give anybody all of you. That does not mean you need to lie or you need to make up stories, but you should have your identity still. I actually still believe that in marriage too, but that's a little different. So dating is, is uncertain. You don't know if the person's gonna turn out to be crazy or if they're gonna turn out to you know, be a liar, but you can't get married without dating. So for me, I, I, my religion, if you wanna put me in a religion, is I'm a Christian. And usually in the Christian um, church, it wasn't a lot taught about dating. Um, it was taught, you know, he who finds a wife finds a good thing, which is true. But no one tells you, like, how do you go through the process? So for a person who's a Christian or a person who's not a Christian, maybe this will help you. First thing is first is uh, clarity on who you are as a person. And does that person match up with where you're going? All right, so let's say, um, let's just say I want to be, let's just say a millionaire. Right, and I believe in some core values of, of giving of a certain amount, whatever. I believe in saving um, at the same time, and I believe in uh, you're know, working hard. So, these are some of my main characteristics or my, my main um, things that I do. It could be a lot more. If that person doesn't value that or, or want to understand that or doesn't do that, one of those three, then I probably shouldn't date them. Maybe just be friends, right? When you're dating someone with intention, or you're, you're dating someone, getting in a place where you're going to date someone, you want to have some of your core values in common. It doesn't mean that everything you do is going to be in common with the person. The second thing is let it flow. You know, we usually have a generation where everything is microwaved and everything is rushed. Let it flow. You don't have to be the boyfriend, girlfriend in two months, three months, or even six months. Let it flow, let it grow organically. Invest time in it here and there, but let it grow, see where it's going. A lot of times people are dating people who they should be just good friends with because they're speeding up the process before it's supposed to get there. The last tip is be open. You know, at times you might not date somebody in the same race, you might not date somebody that's your your typical type, you know. Um, most women I know nowadays who I who I have conversations with, they're going after Idris Elba, Idris Idris Elba, or <laughs> or Morris Chestnut. Maybe he's gonna be short. Maybe he's gonna be bald. Maybe he's gonna be large, small. So be open. You you, you never know um, who he's going to come looking like. But if he matches the goals, the characteristics, the things you you want that might be a sign that it's okay to date dating is not wrong dating is a way to get information about a person um, dating without an intention that might be wrong that might lead you down the wrong path so those are my quick tips i hope they help you out if they have do me a favor make sure to click like and click share on this video and let's help people get into healthy relationships